This video demonstrates a mobile phone app helping users prepare vegetables in meals and snacks. The app also offers ideas about managing family eating for better health and about savvy food shopping. We call the app Quick Help for Meals. It was designed by Susan Evans and Peter Clark at the University of Southern California. Support from the U.S. Department of Agriculture has helped create the app and field test it with families. The app recognizes the special needs of clients of community food pantries. We present simple and delicious recipes and tips that people on a limited budget can use. All kinds of cooks find the app helpful, those who are just starting in the kitchen and those with lots of experience. The app has two sections, which you will see in a minute. Veggie books contain 260 recipes and scores of vegetable tips. Secrets books contain 80 illustrated ideas for more successful eating, both at home and away from home. App users choose and store whatever content they want on their phones and cook off their phones if they wish. They can revise content anytime. They can also print their personalized veggie books or secrets books in color at their pantry. So let's get started. We'll be looking at the English version, though everything is also available in Spanish. We launch a veggie book from its icon, a small green pot and go to the splash page which will morph in just a moment to the initial controls. And here you see both parts of the app creating new veggie books and creating new secrets books and this user has already stored some veggie and secrets books on the phone. Let's start with veggie book and immediately the 10 most popular vegetables in pantry circulation pop up. Uh, so let's uh, go to zucchini. And now we begin what will turn out to be five pages of questions that ask us the kinds of recipes that we want. So first, uh, do we want microwave recipes? Let's say we do. Uh, let's say we want crock pot. And let's imagine we want steamer recipes. We can always change our mind. Go to next. Do we want recipes that are kid friendly? Uh, that combine zucchini with chicken or meat? For soup containing zucchini. And then a number of different flavor spectrums. Uh, Latino flavors let's say we want and soul food flavors. Go to next. Do we want ideas about making snacks with zucchini? Uh, preparing zucchini for one or two people. That's quite popular with seniors. Making baby food with zucchini. Or preparing zucchini for someone with diabetes. Let's say we want that. Go to next. Do we want nutritional tips about zucchini in general for kids under 16 or for adults and seniors? Let's say we want them for both children under 16 and adults and seniors. And do we want information about storing zucchini, freezing zucchini, or preventing spoilage of zucchini? Let's say we want all three of those. Now when we go to next, the app is pulling down the recipes that coordinate with our answers to those questions. We go to next. And now we're going to be given a chance to view each of the recipes that our answers retrieved. We can scroll down and examine them in detail and decide whether we want to keep or drop each one. So let's say we want to keep that. These recipes, by the way, have been specially designed uh, to use only ingredients that pantry clients are likely to have on hand or that are distributed commonly in pantries. They're very simple to make and they are very, very flavorful, have a lot of eye and taste appeal. 
So here's tortilla pizza with zucchini, for example, and it's flagged as kid-friendly because we asked that um, the app produce kid-friendly recipes for us. So let's say we want to keep that. And so we can just go through the rest of these recipes. Uh, you can see there are 26 that uh, our answers to those questions retrieve for us, and we can just uh, drop or keep each one uh, randomly. Uh, this, though, I'll pause and show you that on some occasions we have extra illustrations because there's a step in the recipe that uh, people might not be immediately familiar with. Here is both a Latino flavor and a kid-friendly recipe, zucchini burritos. So let's say we just drop and keep them randomly at this point so that we can illustrate the rest of the app. That's too good to uh, pass up. Let's keep that. Here's another recipe, by the way, with uh, an additional illustration in it because lots of people haven't ever cored out uh, a zucchini before to make stuffed zucchini. So depending on our answers to the questions, we get the recipes that those answers indicated, but we have the option of discarding any that we don't want to keep. And of course, we can go back and remake a veggie book for zucchini and make entirely different choices if we wish. When we get out to the end of our recipes, we're now presented with all of those that we elected to keep and given the chance to ask for extra copies to be printed at our pantry uh, to give family and friends. Lots of people choose this option. So let's just indicate a few of those. And now we go to creating the cover for our printed veggie book. Uh, we can take a photo of ourselves uh, or have someone else in the pantry line, if that's where we are, take our photo. Uh, we can use a photo that we already have stored on the phone, or we can choose an image from some that we've found are very popular with people, chiefly uh, religious symbols, not always. Uh, there you can put a zucchini picture on your zucchini veggie book, or a decorative cornucopia, or some people want Jesus, or the Virgin of Guadalupe, or the Pope, or some other religious symbol. So let's just say we want uh, the cornucopia in this case. And now we submit our veggie book to the printer at our pantry where it'll be printed, and we can pick it up at any time. So that's uh, veggie book. Let's turn to uh, creating a secrets book. And here we've divided secrets into five different categories, breakfast secrets, lunch secrets, dinner secrets, snack secrets, and shopping secrets. And these are ideas that are tested by research as helping people have happier meals and uh, control portions and consume less fat and sodium in their meals. Uh, and they've also been mom tested as being uh, usable in the home and they're zero cost. And there's a little option down here who says so. And you can find out that these are endorsed by uh, a nurse uh, who herself is a uh, grandmother of two. And uh, they've been uh, reviewed and endorsed by pantry clients who we have on our advisory committee. And here are some of the things that uh, users of the app have had to say about secrets. So let's say we want to create a breakfast secrets book. And once again, uh, just like with recipes, we can go through all of the breakfast secrets and decide which ones we want to keep uh, or drop. And let's just uh, keep most of these. Uh, this actually is a uh, breakfast secret that uh, will take us to a website if we elect to keep it. So let's keep that. Plan your week's breakfast choices with your family. Be a breakfast planner. We provide a breakfast planning form that uh, lots of families like to use. 
Uh, each secret has a little section explaining why it works, why it's useful. Each is illustrated. Here's one talk about food, where it comes from, and how it tastes. Smoothies are a healthy breakfast treat. Uh, and a little endorsement of that by a user of the app from Anaheim. Let your child personalize breakfast. Be a breakfast eater. Don't skip breakfast because you'll be more prone to eat unhealthy foods later in the day. Eggs can be simple and quick to prepare. Some ideas for egg-based breakfast items. Whole grains, the value of whole grains and how to seek them out in stores. Set the mood. At meals, turn off the TV, put mobile phones in another room, and say that video games and earbuds are off limits, and why that works. Prepare a weekend breakfast with your kids. Set the breakfast table the night before, and why that's important. Making kids clean their plates can lead to overeating. Introducing new foods, how to do that. How to read package labels to get healthy cereals. Placing boxes of cereals and other food containers away from the table and out of reach. And why that's important to healthy eating. Putting sugary breakfast cereals far away so that family members are not tempted to snack on them later in the day. Be patient in introducing new foods and keep trying. Tips for introducing kids to new food flavors. Measuring food into one serving portion size. Eat the same breakfast as your kids. So here are all of the breakfast secrets that we've chosen to keep and once again we can get extra copies printed in our pantry to give to family and friends and here's a way of choosing a color a cover image for our breakfast secrets and we submit that to the pantry and it's going to be printed there now let's take a look at a veggie book once again just to get uh, an idea of what it looks like if you wanted to cook off the phone. Uh, here for example on the right two-thirds of the screen is a display of the recipe and here are all of the recipes that we chose to keep and here are the tips for zucchini that we chose to keep. Nutrition facts for children, tips for storage, and so forth. So it's very handy to cook off the phone. And as you can see, you can email or post to social media any breakfasts or any of the secrets for that matter that you wish. You can change language. Uh, switching from Spanish to English and back to Spanish very easily. And turning Veggie Book back to look at a recipe singly on it, that's what it looks on the full screen. Let's put the phone version aside to show you printed output from the app. Here are covers of Veggie Books. One pantry client had a friend take a photo of herself and her daughter. Another client posed her family. Here's what a printed recipe looks like in English. Here's a different recipe in Spanish. Here's a page from the Secrets to Better Dinners. That's a quick overview. We introduced the app to parents together with their kids. Both love it. Our studies have shown that household cooks discover many new and easy ways to prepare vegetables. 
and kids create their own veggie books and secrets books and start helping the family make decisions about mealtimes. Many begin helping out in the kitchen and even prepare servings themselves. Here's contact information for us in case you want to learn more about Quick Help for Meals.